can they take? Destruction All-Stars is an online multiplayer vehicular combat game where you and up to 15 other players will have to smash, crash and bash your way through each other to come out on top. But All-Stars takes that tried and tested formula just one step further, letting you take the fight to your opponents on foot as well as on wheels. Parkouring up and across walls, dodging incoming cars, and even hitching a ride on top to steal or wreck an enemy vehicle adds, if nothing else, the potential for some pretty cool-looking moves. It's always funny to see someone zip past with another player just clinging for dear life as they try and shake them off. But before we continue, while there are training rounds you can play solo, to earn XP and level up, you have to play in the online matches. So please remember to ask your grown-ups before you jump on. And never, ever give out your personal information to strangers and always be respectful to other players. Yeah, no one likes a sore loser. Now, at the time of review, there are four game modes, though they're not particularly inventive, all boiling down to pretty much the same thing knocking into other players until the clock runs out. Yeah, but it's the chaos of playing with those other players that makes it fun. Mayhem is your standard free-for-all mode, where the goal is to cause as much damage as possible to the other players. Calling in your character's unique vehicle gives you access to special moves to make the job that much easier, helping you rack up the points to claim that number one spot before the clock runs out. Two, one, finish! It's a lot of fun, and that unpredictability helps keep things fresh. Gridfall takes a slightly different approach, where not only do you have to watch out for other players wrecking your day, but the map is out to get you too. Throughout the round, pieces of the arena floor will drop away, giving you and your opponents a chance to knock each other into oblivion until only one remains. There's a real solidness to vehicles that makes them feel awesome to drive but can quickly become a double-edged sword in a mode that needs as much precision as this one sometimes does. Next up is Carnado, which is not only an awesome name, but my personal favourite of the four modes. This one is team-based, although I will say, in this utter chaos, I was definitely the number one friendly fire offender on my team. But when you are all working together, you'll be smashing and bashing enemy vehicles to collect gears, and then ferrying that bounty into the tornado at the centre of the map to tally them up. And finally, we have Stockpile. Another team-based mode, Stockpile is similar to Carnado in that you collect gears from crashing into your opponents. But instead, you have to take them to banks scattered across the arena, filling them up to the tippy top in hopes of claiming them. So it becomes this juggling match between going out and collecting gears and defending your banks from the other team. It's probably the most hectic of all three modes because the tide can turn so quickly. This is probably my least favourite rad. I don't know if it was just the teams I was on, the franticness throwing me off, or just that the matches run for too long, but man, it drags on forever. Yeah, and I swear, every time you look back at the match timer, there's more time on it. Mm -hmm. Just tell me I've lost already so I can move on with my life. It's gonna take more than that to catch up with the opposition scores today. Despite that last one, I did enjoy what Destruction All-Stars has to offer. But I do hope we get a few more modes to play around in and maybe get to see some more use for those on-foot mechanics. If you're after some colourful, chaotic, car-based shenanigans, then Destruction All-Stars is a good option. So I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. For more competitive GGS peeps, there is room to grow as a player and master your moves. For me, this is one of those games I might play every so often with a few mates, but I don't feel there's enough here as is to keep me invested. So I'm giving Destruction All-Stars two and a half out of five rubber chickens. Mm -hmm.